Talk about a difficult blot. We're I in love for it. a roller coaster today. I love this Gemara. What? I love this Gemara. Yeah, we're in. We're in for a roller coaster today. Give us a break <laughs> today. <laughs> I love it. Give us a break. Okay, eight oh one. We're on. We're on Tess Ahmed Aleph nine. The law of Avodah that the the tzibur, if uh, the same thing, if the bezdin paskins on something that it wasn't Avodah Zarah, it really was. It's got to be al davar shachayim nos donah kares v'shig gosol chatas. It's on an act that if you did it b'meizid, it would be kares. If you did it b'shoyke gechatas. Any mitzvah where if you do it b'meizid, you get kares or chatas by shoyge, like eating chaylev, eating dam. Yachid may be kizba or The individual person could bring a korban chatas, either a female sheep or a female goat. Nasi, the melech, on that kind of chet brings a sawyer. Mashiach, the Kohen, Godel, based in Mavin Par. If the Kohen Godel Paskins for himself or based in Paskins and they make a mistake, they bring a Par Helam Dover. Now, that's by other Averas. Uvavodazora Avera, then it's different. Yochid, Nasi, Mashiach, Mavin Seira. They bring a female goat. Sibur. Mevian par v'sotir, par la'oila v'sar l'chatas. This is the b'raisa. So menon amili. Hi, Harold. We're on Tess. Hi. Ahmed Aleph. The Tan Rabbanu. There's a there's a there's a uh, uh, as be- a chorus or misa. Is it because no no hasra? Is that what it is? Yes. If hasra, you get, you get capital punishment. Yeah. Okay. We're talking about Mezid without without aid in Asra. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, okay. So where do we know these dinim? The Torah Rabbah. The Noida Chatas, Asher Chotu Aleha. Here's that word Aleha again. This is by this is by Parhelam Davar Shel Tzibur. Rabbi Yehuda Nemer Kan Aleha. It says here Aleha. Nemer Laholan by Achos Isha, right by a wife's sister, Aleha. Now, if you live with your wife's sister while your wife is still alive, that's kares and chatas. So we learn back to the the the, the tzibur that they bring the par. Fine. Ashkechan tzibur, Mashiach minah. What about the coin goddess? So, Haray Mashiach Kitzibur. Since we're ta- since it talks about the Am, that's similar to the Beis Din, the Kohen Gadol has the same Din. Now, we said the Yochid Vinasi brings a Kizba or Seira or a Sawyer. Asya Mitzvois Mitzvois. It says uh, it says by. Uh, so it connects them. The law of Israel, if you make a mistake by Vodazor, it's the same thing. It says by Parelam Dover, and by Shoiki of Vodazor, it says, so we know that the Sibor brings that kind of korban on a shoigig of being Avodah Now, what about Yochid Nasi Mashiach Avodah Zara? That's learned out the in nefesh achas techta. Echad Yochid, Echad Nasi, Echad Mashmiach for Mashmi. You have Vav Moisif Alinin Rishman. The Vav connects those two partios. The t- subject matter is the bottom one is by Yachid and the top one is by Tzibur. So the, the, the bottom case 
of Yachid Nasi Mashiach is learned from the top case, which is Tzibur, which is also Dover Shachavna Zonakaris Vashid Gosu Chatis. Okay. This is Rebbe. Vrabon, a nice form in Olahu. They use Aleha for a different drosha by, by Ivomis. So where do they learn this din? The Rabbana learned out from Rabbi Yoshua. Toira achas yelachem laose bishkaga da nefesh asher tase biyad rama huksha kolatar kula vodazor. All other Averis are connected to vodazor. Ma vodazor, dovashkanos, dona kos, vashkakatis. The subject matter of a vodazor is an act like ishtachavo. To an idol, where the chiyuv is kares af kol davar shachav nazdon and kares vashik kasal. So same thing by the other avayos. Fine. Ashkechon yachid nasi mashiach bein bavodazar bein b'shar mitzvus. So we covered the yachid, the melech, the kohen gadol, both by other mitzvus like chelav and dam, and by avodazar. Tzibur bavodazar minayim. What about if the tzibur made a mistake by avodazar? Amar kra. The im nefesh again the vav, and this time the ilmod el yomitachton. The top subject is is informed by the bottom subject. The bottom subject is yochi doing things that you get chorus and shoy and chatasin. So above when the pot when the tzibur is dealing with a mistake, by avodazar it's talking about things that you get chorus and shoy. Fine. El tzibur bishar mitzvus minolon. What about if the tzibur makes a mistake by chayil of indam? Yolif me'enei me'enei. They learn the same hekish from enei enei. Me'enei ha'eda and me'enei ha'kohol. The Rebbe, I Torah sachas my What does Rebbe do with this limit of Torah achas? Raboy lelcha de tanya. Fish matzino shechila kakosu ben yechidin lemerubim. The Torah makes a distinction between an individual worshipping of Avodah and a tzibur worshipping of Avodah Zorah. Yechidim b'skila. A yachid that worships Avodah Zorah is killed through skila. L'fichach mamoinon polet. Since the, the death penalty is extreme, their money is saved for the family. Merubin, but for example, let's say a whole city Worships of what is it's called Iran and Dachas. They're killed by Sayyid. They're, they're killed with a beheading. Which is the easiest form of execution. Therefore, they lose all their money. Maybe there should be a distinction which Corbin they bring. They bring the same corpse. So without that pasuk, we would have differentiated the corpse. My lisu. What would they bring? Lisu par tzibur b'shar mitzvus u'demaisi. The par is brought by the base din when when they make a mistake by other mitzvahs like chaylev and dam. Kizba. The female goat, female sheep, yachid b'shar mitzvah sudemaisi. That's when an individual, let's say, eats chaylev or dam. So ear goat nosir b'shar mitzvah sudemaisi. The melech brings a goat if he commits navera with chaylev and dam. Parla oil of the sarlachates tzibur b'avod zara sudemaisi. That's what the tzibur does if it makes a mistake that they based in in a, in a psak of zara. Elamai seira, a female goat. So yochid nami ainu korbanu, but that's the yochid's korban. More says Yitzchak, we need it. Zagadak, I mean, oil did seber boy raw. My superlo of Israel chatas. Maybe inu nami naisu ipcha. Maybe they should bring a parlo chatas for sar lo oilo. Or inami tsarich ve'en lo takana. Maybe there's no korban for them. Kamash v'lan that there is a korban for them. Armor, now, okay. 
Now we're going to start the roller coaster. It's going to be pretty difficult. The sugya here. Armalei Levi Larebi, my area the Tony Chamesh Esrei. The Mishnah started off by describing fifteen women that if Shimon is married to his daughter, for example, excuse me, Reuven is married to Shimon's daughter. Reuven dies, so that's one example of the fifteen women. So Levi said to Rebbe, "Listen, Shesh Esrei, there should be sixteen." Rabbi said, I think he doesn't have a brain in his head. My daitach, imo anusas aviv, what are you adding here? If his father had raped a woman, and didn't marry her, and you're saying Shimon married that woman, excuse me, Reuven married that woman and now that woman falls to Shimon. So whether or not the bro, a, a son can marry that kind of mother is Anusa Safi plucked at Rabbi de Rabonani. That's not a unif uniform decision. Rabbi Yehuda would hold that it does not would not be able to follow Yibam because, because he holds that the brothers would not be able to live with Anusa Saviv. So, and our Mishnah, but look to look Our Mishnah listed 15 women where there's no machlokis. So the Gemara says, what do you mean? The love, are a Iser Mitzvah, the Iser Kedusha. Iser Mitzvah, look at Rashi. Kol she isuro iser erva. When it's an erva mid min Torah, like daughter, let's say Reuven married Shimon's daughter. Reuven dies, the daughter falls to Shimon. Well, he can't. There's no chlitz, so there's no yibu. Now, what's it, what is iser mitzvah? Kigon shniyos medivrei soifrim. These are rabbinic prohibitions, like grandmother. Great grandmother. Now, what is Isser Kedusha? Let's say Reuven married a Mamzeris and then Reuven dies and the Mamzeris falls to Shimon, which is not Kares, it's only Belav. If you marry a Mamzeris, it's only a Lav. In those cases, Choyletzes Philomus Yabemis. The lav without kores is not strong enough to remove the chiyuv yibum completely. Can't do yibum because it's prohibited to marry. That's the chachami who poly rabbi kiva the amr he holds that marrying a mamzeres is like a krisus. There's a major machlokas between Rabbi Kiva and the Chachamim. According to Rabbi Kiva, if you marry a, la, a, a prohibition of love, you also also mamzeres. Chachamim say, no, it's got to be chorus. Rabbi Kiva holds the mamzer v'chayv v'lavim. So Rabbi Kiva, all him lav l'miftre below klum, ke'er v'gemura. So according to Rabbi Kiva, these lavim, like if Reuven had married a Manzeres, would potter Yibam Mechlitza just like a regular erva. And yet, Ptani, you just got finished to say that anything that's learned like as Artana didn't mention, I, this is mentioned. So it's not mentioned in our parak, the Pirkin Ka'amrina. Next parak it's mentioned, but not in this parak. Freight to Gomorrah, even in our parak. We've been learning that if Ruvain is married to Shimon's daughter, but Ruvain also has multiple wives, he has co wife, that daughter has a co wife, and then Ruvain dies, 
and all these women fall to Shimon. So not only is Shimon not allowed to be Miyabim, his daughter, but the Tsaros are potter as well. But that's only according to Beis Hillel. According to Beis Shammai, the brothers could marry the Tsar. So you see our Mishnah is in the Machlokas as well between Beis Shammai and Beis Hillel. So the Gemara says, Beis Shammai, when come Beis Hillel, ain't a Mishnah. No. When Beis Shammai argues with Beis Hillel, that's not a Mishnah, that's not a Machlokas. Because we paskin like Beis Hillel. Okay. One of the cases in our Mishnah was the case of Levi hadn't even been born yet. Right? You have Reuben and Shimon. The Reuben dies. And um, Shimon Miyabim, sir. Then Levi is born. So Levi never saw, th- and then Ru- and then Shimon dies. So we said that brother Levi was not around when Reuven died, where there was a, where there was a heter of Eishes Ach the Mokam Mitzvah. Shimon was Miyabim, or now it's his wife. Now this woman, now Shimon dies. The woman falls to Levi. He was not in the world with that woman when she fell, the Yibum. So it's an Eishasach and remains Eishasach. That's Eishasach. However, there's a fundamental machlokas, the pligi Rav Shimon Rabbonu. Rav Shimon Polig be Eishasachim Shlaibo Elamo in Perak Sheni. Umatrich Lechlitza. The Rabbonon hold that this woman falling to Levi, there would be no yibum, no chlitza. Or court Reb Shimon, there needs to be chlitza. And yet, so you see it's a machlokes between Reb Shimon and the Chachamim, and yet it's mentioned in our mission, which is going against what we had answered, I, that our mission doesn't include things that are b'machlokes. So the Gemara says, b'noilet l'vasoth yibum lo poli, Reb Shimon. Let's read Rashi together. This is an important Rashi. Actually, the whole we're gonna learn all of Rashi today. It's gonna to take us some time. But if we don't learn the these are fundamental Rashis which will hold us in good stead for the rest of the Masechta. Reuven Reuven and Shimon are in the world. Reuven dies without sons. Va'ad shlo yib mashim and nolod levi, achayim. Now, Shimon, you don't do yibum overnight. Let's say a month went by, and Shimon had not done the yibum yet to Reuven's wife after Reuven's death. And in the middle, two weeks after the death of Reuven, Levi is born. So Levi was not in the world when Reuven died. But he's in the world where this woman has still not had Yibum. Therefore, she's, there's a Zika. So this woman becomes Osir because he was not present when Muvin died. The Yab Mashim in the and then Shimon married this woman and Shimon died without children. Moida Rab Shimon Shasur Levi. Hoyl Vanessa Love Shaachas been a filler shona. Since there was a, a moment, even more moment, two weeks, where Levi is also with this woman because she's an Aishas Achiv Shlahaya Boy Lama when 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 Reuven died. So even Rab Shimon agrees there that there's a complete tour. When does Rab Shimon argue? Where Levi isn't even born yet. The Yobim Shimon is Aishas Ruven. The Achar Kach Noilod Levi. You have Reuven and Shimon, no Levi. Reuven dies, Shimon marries Reuven's wife. 
Then Levi is born. And then May Shimon, the Hosum Shari Levi Reb Shimon Levi There Reb Shimon allows Levi to be Meabimur. The Lo Nafla Lafan of Mikoch Ruven Echov Shemais Kvar. The Lo Nesser Lafum. There was never an Isser. Kisha Nafla Lafan of Mikoch Shimon Shai Boy Loma Nafla. Right? Shimon, Levi's in the world uh, with Shimon. He was Levi wasn't in the world with Ruvain, but he's in the world with Shimon for a time. Back to the Gemara. The Ha'omer Rabbi Shaya Cholokai Rabbi Shimon Afkari Shona. Rabbi Shaya says no. Rabbi Shimon argues in both cases, even in the first case, where Reuven died and then Levi was born. And then Shimon was Miyapin. And therefore there's still a machlok this. But the Gemara says, Hi, itutiv Rabbi Shaya. But this Rabbi Shaya was knocked out of the box. Now, because the Amr Rabbi Dama Rav, the Chain Tan Rabchia, the Kulana Nikora Behen Asur Lazemuteras Laze, the Asur Lazemuteras Laze, the Chosu Shiyavim to Choletes or Messiah Bemis. Now, this we have to read this big Rashi. The Perak Arba Achim. We're going to have a very complicated Perak about four brothers. This not. Arba Achim, four brothers. Shnein Shenashu Shteachayos. Reuven, Shimon, Levi, Yehuda. Reuven and Shimon marry Rachel and Leah, two sisters. Umesu and Asuin Asachayos. Reuven and Shimon died. Now, both Rachel and Leah, sisters, fall to the remaining brothers. You can't do Yibu. Both uh, Levi. Levi has a Zika to both of the women. Zika is like Kiddushin. And therefore it's like being married to two wives. He can't marry. He marries one of them. He's like he's marrying his wife's sister. So they both both Levi knew to have that problem. Enos of Haikopagabach is a If Levi marries one of the women, he can't because it's like he's marrying Rachel's sister. Vidamya la'achos isha b'chayeha. Right? It's similar to marrying your wife's sister in her lifetime. Ketani Asam. We learn over there, Haisa Akas Mehen Asura Ala Echad Isr Erva. Let's say Rochel and Leah, one of them are related to Levi and Shimon. Excuse me, to Levi and, and Yehuda. Well, let's this. Kigon Shaisa Chamoso O Kaloso. Let's say one of these women was the mother in law or daughter in law to either Levi or Shimon. So if the two women fell, she would, be, of course, he would be prohibited with the erva, but would be permitted to marry the sister. There would be no zika. You can't establish a zika with an erva. Now, what if the Yehuda was also the other woman was an erva to him? Comes out, and the Rashi explains. Rachel and Leah are two sisters. They fall to Levi and Yehuda. Turns out Rachel is Chamosha Shalevi. Rachel was the mother in law of Levi. And Leah was the mother-in-law of Yehuda. 
Rachel Asr Levi Muteras Lihuda. Rachel would be Asr to Levi because it's, it's Levi's mother in law, but Rachel would be permitted to Yehuda. The Lavach Azakokosahi, there would be no problem. The Leah Loz Kukukukukale, the Achamoisahi. The other sister is his mother in law. Right? It's like they cross pollinate. The Leah Asr Lihuda Muteras Levi. The Eino Achel Zakokoso. The Rachel Loz Kukale, the Achamoisahi. So, Uktani Hasam, Zui Sha'amru. This is what Chazal mean when they say, when a sister is like a ko yivama, omis The other sister could have either yibum or klitsa done. Again, shte achayos, shein yivama zul zul, shenosul shnei achim. Right, they're married to Reuven and Shimon, two sisters of Nafal shnei shnei achim. Ochaltas omis yabo omis yabmois. Ruuyas lechalitza oli yibum kagon shaisa kol achas asru ala echad yisur erva right like we said each one of them is going to be oser levi nud or oser yisur erva to one of the sisters like we just said now back to the gemara the rav yehuda metarge mechamosa veelech rav yehuda says that this situation is only can exist from mother-in-law on. But the six initial ones, like daughter, low. That can only happen if somebody rapes somebody, but not through marriage. And because for one of the, for if the women to fall to one of, one of the brothers and it's his daughter, it's going to be a rape situation. It's going to be something that's not permit permissible, and our missions are only talking about our missions are talking about permissible marriages. However, Abaya, we're talking about bito manusaso. Abaya says it can work because if you rape, kivan dashkuchim mishkachos la e boy mina unsin to heavy e boy mina sun to heavy. We can take both into account. But of the 15 cases, we cannot describe this complicated sort of two part, two women falling to the two brothers. By Ashes Achim Shlai Belama won't work. My time. It's only going to be appropriate for Shimon, not for the Chachamim. So that's exactly what we said. Our mission is not dealing with Machloiksim. And since it won't work without the machlokes Rav Shimon Rabbon, it's that's why it's not included. However, Rav Safra metargem afeish esachim shleib balama. Rav Safra can explain even in a case of this of this Levi being born after Reuven's death. How mishkachas lo b'shisa achim? You need to come up with six brothers, alibed Rav Shimon. But that we won't do. We're going to save the primary analysis of these cases to when we get them in that parrot. But we had a little introduction today about this sugya, which I think gives us something to hang on to. Any questions, comments? No. Okay. So tomorrow, at Surba, excuse me, at Surba at eight o'clock, we continue the laws of Pesuka de Zimra. Or I don't know if we started it, but I think we finished Berchas Torah last week. Yeah, and then we'll start Pesukah to Zimra, Hilchos, and we'll do the Daf at seven thirty.